I am so excited to welcome back Dr. Rob Mankis to the Healthcare Experience Matters program today. We're going to be talking a lot about the upcoming Physician Leadership Certificate program that Dr. Mankis helped actually build out the curriculum for, in addition to all the work he does here at the Healthcare Experience Foundation as a physician coach. He's also a board-certified general and pediatric surgeon with more than 20 years of healthcare leadership. So I want to kind of kick this conversation off and just have Dr. Mingus remind us a little bit about his background and all the leadership work he's actually doing to this day. Great. Thanks, Casey, for that. Uh, Welcome, as always. And as uh, Casey mentioned, I'm Rob Mingus. I am a board-certified pediatric and general surgeon. And you could stop just right there. What an amazing thing to be and to do, and what an amazing career. But as we've learned in healthcare now, and as physicians, there's so much more that is needed and expected of us in the world of healthcare. And as physicians, we're viewed in every context as leaders, uh, which is really what helped, what what guided my journey. I I started leadership as a, a chair of pediatric surgery and Uh, It's gone on from there. I'm currently the chair of specialty medicine for a brand new medical school in Orlando called Orlando College of Osteopathic Medicine, integrating the skills that are needed along with the essential clinical and technical and basic interpersonal skills is more important than ever. So my journey has been a fantastic one that's involved clinical practice, administration and, and leadership in many dimensions. And this this program that's coming up here, we have the the spring cohort, we're calling it, that starts June 3rd, June 10th, and then June 17th will be the final day of it. How did the curriculum go um, when it came to building out this program, this physician leadership certificate? What did you have in mind that needed to be covered within the agenda of this course, you know, given what's going on in healthcare today? So that's an important question because getting back to what I said, our training does not involve the skills training, interpersonal work, team building that is now required of us. You know, like I I, I was just, I was thinking back during the introduction that I remember, I think I was applying to medical school and this is in the eighties, not to date myself too much, but someone asked me if I was worried about HMOs. I was like, I'm, I'm, so worried about so many other things. I just want to put my nose down and get on with the business of becoming a physician. And that entails so much more now. And now we're looking back. And when I go to conferences, whether they're uh, uh, society conferences or ACGME conferences, there are always talks and studies on what we didn't learn in medical school. So with that in mind, as physicians and other healthcare providers, we're on the front line with teams taking care of patients. And we can't take a lot of time away from our duties to gain these skills that have historically been reserved for executives or administrative leaders, even on the non-clinical side from you know managers and directors, even supervisors up and, and physicians where, you know, we, we've been working hard to take our, the best care that we possibly can for patients. And now we know that for better patient outcomes, there's more that we can do. And there's not one physician that I've ever met who doesn't want to do better for their patients. And so out of that came, well, what are some of these core aspects so from Healthcare Experience Foundation? I've been really blessed to work with an incredible team here for over a year as a coach and as a consultant. And, you know, taking the work that's been done by this incredible team and, and, and uh, best-based practices and uh, uh, evidence-based practices for over 20 years and provide this in uh, uh, a very uh, thoughtful and intentional direction for physicians and, and, and even other clinicians would really benefit from this type of program. So, you know, we know physician leadership is so crucial in, in healthcare today. And a lot of what you're saying is because 
what this particular program does is cover some of the gaps of what might be missing in the formal education. Um, is there any other specific things you want to talk about with how this upcoming program, this physician leadership certificate program actually addresses those missing needs? So, so what I love, and as a coach, you know, what are some new perspectives we can gain? We, we become really neurobiologically wired to do what we do every day and use the same perspectives that we have. So it's designed to really begin by growing awareness, growing awareness of, of our selves, of our uh, local teams, interdepartmental teams for our organization, our community, and across healthcare in general. When we begin to look at things with new people like to talk about lenses or, or, or new points of view, it really opens up what becomes possible. And the 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 the, the type of things that are 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 crucial from uh, growing self-awareness, understanding our biases, using emotional intelligence, conflict resolution, our, our learnable skills, regardless of our personality style, regardless of our, 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 our disposition, these are skills we can all learn. And they improve things we talk about in terms of teamwork. We all hear about psychological safety. We go into what, what that means. And ultimately, this results in better patient outcomes. It increases engagement of physicians and, and increases engagement of our teams and our staff and really improves patient outcomes. You know, talk to me about some of the common challenges that physicians are facing who are actually transitioning into a leadership role and just, you know, maybe that they have a lot of clinical experience, but maybe not so much leadership experience. Identifying as a leader is a challenge, especially for physicians. And this has been studied in this document. We go into healthcare because we care about people and we want to help people. We want to heal people. Identifying as a leader is a whole different aspect. Whether and we're all leaders in our training, we lead our patient and our care teams and our local care teams on the ward and in the office, but we don't identify as a leader. Well, Healthcare Experience Foundation, we were working with Katie Owens, who's the president of Healthcare Experience Foundation. We were uh, doing a program, a communication program with a large group of hospitalists, and we're discussing leadership. And even those who are in formal leader roles, only two people in an entire room raise their hand at, at, at identifying as leaders. So that's a real big challenge. What does it mean to be a leader? And what's so important about what we're doing, the skills that we develop are really just core human skills and align with almost all of our values as healthcare providers and clinicians. When we're uh, aligned to a, a vision, uh, we're able to do that. But that's particularly one challenge. And then learning what we've not never learned before. If I'm putting my nose down and I'm a surgeon, I just want to get on with the business of being a surgeon. I've not paid attention right to what goes on at all of the other levels. And I'm not aware of how what I do and the decisions I make might impact other aspects of healthcare. And that becomes a challenge as well. But but that but that's part of the fun of learning and growing and becoming lifelong learners in this, you know, leadership and self-awareness journey. Can you tell me a little bit more about how effective physician leadership directly can contribute to better patient care? Because that's kind of what we're all after here. Yeah. So in the environment of healthcare, there's so much frustration. And we see it manifest in lack of engagement and burnout uh, and in imposter syndrome and perfectionism. And everyone's looking to physicians as leaders. And as physicians, we're diagnostic diagnosticians. We can diagnose the problem. And then we go on and look for solutions. What this shift becomes for us is being solution driven. And this occurs by creating a collaborative culture, right? And this requires us to promote effective communication where we really prioritize patient-centered care. We talk about it often, but as human beings, right, we get tired, we get burned out. And we know it's important, but we don't always feel it. So by becoming aware of who we are, how we 
our relationship is to others and even the situation, we can really improve patient engagement, uh, patient experience, and really enhance the clinical outcomes. And we also know that when we have great physician leadership who partner with nurses and nursing leadership, we reduce staff turnover and we develop the skills even to intervene, right? We become proactive and not reactive to the situation. So there's a tremendous opportunity to uh, really improve the environment and the culture that impacts uh, all of our collaborative colleagues and our patients. And I know, Dr. Minkus, you are obviously a lifelong learner yourself, um, always a work in progress. And I think part of probably the benefit of being so involved in this program is not only do you get to speak at the event and help develop it, you know, you're also with a lot of peers that you can learn from, you know, as you sit in on these sessions, is there stuff that you're learning at this physician leadership certificate program that's actually directly helping you in your work right now as the, you know, chair of specialty medicine with Orlando college of osteopathic medicine. Yeah. I can give you even a very specific example because as lifelong learners and as physicians, we're doers. So what do we do? Someone asks us to do something. We, we, by nature, most of us, and by training, we say yes. So we get a plate and we fill it up. Someone asks us to do more. We get another plate and fill it up. We get a table, then ask for another table. That's part of the issue, right? We don't, we, we haven't, and I, and I was, I, I'm still learning this to establish boundaries and what to do. And our amazing team of, of, of coaches at Healthcare Experience Foundation, even just recently in an Emerging Leaders program, presented uh, an Eisenhower, uh, Eisenhower matrix of, you know, what do we learn to do, don't decide, and delegate, right? Part of my issue in my career has been I hadn't learned to do that because we don't believe that there are other people who can do the work. So part of being a leader is growing and then identifying others and growing their leadership and partnering. And that's what we do at uh, Healthcare Experience Foundation. There's not a, a program that we develop or an interaction that I have with, with any of this incredible team that I don't learn something or come away with uh, enriched in, in some way or other. And as we work towards wrapping up, I always want to give a chance for you to you know add any last minute or final thoughts or anything of anything of value that, you know, we, we didn't yet cover um, when we're talking about this physician leadership certificate coming up here at the beginning of June. As we grow in our awarenesses and our leadership abilities and, and interact with programs such as this, we, we like to often say, well, I wish I had this 20 years ago. But what I would like to say is there's, you know, we have now and we have what comes after now, and that becomes most important. So what we do from this time moving forward will impact so many others and so many lives. So having this opportunity for uh, new leaders, experienced leaders, and even to share, right? Share experiences becomes important because our programs are interactive. Uh, uh, they're supportive. We create a safe environment that we all alert, we all learn and grow from each other. So that's what I would add. Dr. Rob Makis will be presenting at this upcoming spring cohort of the Physician Leadership Certificate. It takes place June 3rd, June 10th, June 17th. I'll include a link with all the information in the description of this podcast. So, so please make sure to check that out. Again, our guest today has been Dr. Rob Makis. He's a physician coach here with the Healthcare Experience Foundation, board certified general and pediatric surgeon with well over 20 years of actual leadership experience in health care. And I really thank him for his time and contributions to this program. <laughs>